Biohazard. Also, hi, Jamers. Compared to the PS2 version, it loads much, much faster. Hey, Deep Road. How am I doing? I'm playing Gun Survivor 2 again. I'm in pain. I'm doing alright, though. I played, like, five hours of DDR today. Sensational stuff. Eh. But by the end of the session, I had to do baby's first pad maintenance for the first time. Because one of my fucking sensors in the bloody thing died. The Simpsons arcade game? It's correct, it's not. Once again, me enjoying the fruits of that thing where the nanosecond, the. No one ever actually looks at it until it's wrong. And two people have done it in a row now. You're not funny. actually just very tedious. <sighs> Fucking arcade version. This room is impossible in the arcade version for some reason. The same strat doesn't work because you get pushed off by the corpse. Nice. That still works at least. Hey Samantha. Thanks for the congrats on the Gun Survivor 2 record. We're going to try and get another one. Was this a light gun game in the arcade? Not exactly. It had a gun for a controller. This, like, for what it's worth, the version you're looking at right now, this is the arcade version. Ow. Where is he? Why is he in the arcade version? No, you're looking at it. This, this is the arcade version you're looking at right now, and it's like, it's more or less the same. It had a gun-shaped controller that you pulled the trigger to shoot, but it's not a light gun game in the sense that you actually needed to, like, aim with the gun around the screen, you know? Does that make sense? This is, like, this- that part is difficult to explain. Because I've never heard of anything like it. <laughs> I had a very hard time swapping to my actual gun there. Man, fucker did a 180. Well, that didn't work. See you later. <laughs> that works in the arcade version, at least. It really doesn't on console. And Steve, uh, die. It's a gun-shaped controller, it's a new piece of cursed hardware. It really is. I don't imagine it was very popular. Is this Steve from Co Veronica? Correct. School of no crits. Wrong button.
Mm, that was relatively okay. Resident Evil colon Gun Survivor 2 colon Code Veronica, correct. All in full. I mean, there is an indicator on this, like, the game name, not in its full entirety, but it is on the screen. But for whatever reason, when it comes to game name stuff, people either don't look at it and ask me what game I'm playing even when it's on the screen, or they find the one bit that's wrong and make a hackney joke about it. Yes, I am annoyed. I hit the wrong button. Crits. It worked. Kind of. Kind of worked. What are you stuck on? What are you stuck on, boy? Don't be stuck on nothing. You fuckface. I, I can't, like, do my usual strat for this room, because I can't, like, do nothing. Oh, that kind of worked. Uh, close enough. <laughs> I'm zooming, I'm going, I'm going places. Why do I keep getting spat on there? Yes, there is an arcade game based on Code Veronica. Cooked him. Sent him to the cleaners. C well, cooking someone and sending them to the cleaners are very different things, thinking about it. So maybe I didn't do either of those things, actually. Yeah, just do that. Don't get fancy with it. But Less of that, please. Seeing Nemesis is approaching is so ominous, it really scares you. It's a horror game, after all. Right? So the thing about the arcade version that I find very challenging is that circle strafing is much harder. <laughs> but it can be done. I'm also, I'm just noticing that uh, in the PS2 version, when you fire the submachine gun for too long in a row without letting go of the button, the gun like jams briefly. But it doesn't do that in the arcade. I've just noticed that. You can just go. Are the arrows in Left 4 Dead okay because of the arrows here? I mean, I don't think it's specifically related to anything about Gun Survivor 2. But, like, yeah, arcade games need to be very immediate. If the play- like, the player should- cannot be confused about where to go for a nanosecond when playing an arcade- Like, you don't have the same level of patience that you might expect out of a console game. That went much better. 9.38, I'll take it. So yeah, remember, remember, arcade games live and die by how fast they can cycle people off the machine, but without having them feeling like they got ripped off. Because if someone puts a coin in and, you know, it's gone in an instant, they're mad. But at the same time, efficiency of time is very important for arcade games. Like, they live and die by that shit.
I forgot where I was going with that train of thought, but I guess it's a pretty complete statement by itself. Is there a category for fighting Nemesis at the end? Weirdly, no. Not for the arcade version, anyway. Hey, Bill, for what's poppin'? Arcade games are poppin'. Uh, I said a record for Gun Survivor 2 Arcade just now, because only one other person had done a run of this, and honestly... I mean, they're banned off speedrun.com now, so who knows what they were doing. I don't think they're banned off speedrun.com for Gun Survivor 2 crimes, mind you. You took the cabinet control, it's lit just a Mac 11 on a stick? What does mac and cheese have to do with the- it's- it's a gun on the cabinet. Like, it's... mac? Ele Eleven macs and cheese? I don't get it. Ooh, no damage bonus. <gasps> First for me?! Now, arcade games always account for the common swears, but the British swears are not so common, so can I have Bum as my name? This name entry song goes crazy, it's stolen from Code Veronica. Bum. Bum has topped the scoreboards. <laughs> 